Hi guys and welcome to episode number three of In The Sassy People Talk featuring a very, very familiar guest host, yours truly, Benjamin. How are you today? How are you doing? That was so anticlimactic. Dude, what do you mean? Try that again. Say Venus or Ben Norris, but... Okay. Featuring your very familiar guest host, Venus. How are Thank you today, you. my good friend? You're wrecked. You're what? What? You're correct? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's That good. is correct. See, you are I correct. was so, anticipating. How's your day been? What, you, what have you been up to lately? Uh, I've been eating McDonald's, apparently. Eating McDonald's? Yeah, we went to McDonald's been earlier. Been gaming. It was, it was fun. It was fun. Been yeah. to Quebec lately. You went to Quebec? How was Quebec? I went shopping in the old Quebec. It was great. Okay, and what'd you get? I didn't get much, actually, other than beer and uh, replica Lots gum. Lots of beer. You always have to get beer when you're down there, right? Dude, we went to this bar and the... There was a guy singing, and he was amazing. How okay. was it? Was he amazing because he was drunk, or was he? No, no, no. We he was actually really good at that point. Oh, like, okay. He got us drunk from. Oh, it. okay. I got you. What I mean, but um, yes, guys. So this is episode number three of Indecisive People Talk. I know that the last time we did this episode, it was back in like late June, and I haven't made an episode since. So this, here's a little bit of an update on the podcast itself. Originally, it was supposed to be just Jay and I doing our videos, but Jay, you know, he's got his own thing going on, and he's really busy in his own life, so he can't be always be here. So the new so I had to fill in the gap. Yeah, basically. So Ben's gonna be here uh, whenever he can fill fill in, and uh, we're gonna have a bunch of uh, other guest hosts uh, that are going to be on this podcast. I'm going to have some really cool people, people I do music with, people who are good friends of mine, people are just going to bring a bunch of awesome stuff. You what know about what? strangers? Total strangers. I'll grab a bone from the street. I'll be like, you want a podcast with me? And long story short, we're going to be just a bunch of indecisive people. Yes. And we're going to talk. But are you sure you want to do that? Why? Why would I be unsure if I want to do that? That's the best idea I've ever had ever. And I don't have a lot of good ideas in my life. Oh, let me, let me, let me be honest about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like starting a YouTube channel, not the best idea. Cause now Come on. everyone knows what my room looks like now. Like everyone, yo, everyone knows what half your room looks like, no. and it's changed. Actually, that's true. Look at okay, this. yes, that's true. Yeah, well, uh, let's let's talk about that. So usually I like, have my drum set right I'm here. I'm sitting in in a drum set. Yeah, no. ooh, this is where the drum set is usually, and obviously it's not here right now. And my piano would be right back there. But yeah, the fact of the matter is that moved out. The reason why that moved out is because I'm going into this program at Algonquin College called Music, called Music Industry Arts, and I'm going to have a bunch of new equipment. So I really have to work around the studio pay, space. I'm going to put a brand new uh, desk right there. There's going to be more microphones. I got new processors uh, I need yeah. to install. So this is going to become really a much more legitimate studio, and I'm so stoked. Yeah, me too. Yeah, Although I, mean, I, I don't play much music, but you know. I mean, I mean, you've been how many songs have be you been in? You've been in the the fifteen year old mess that thing. You know, fifteen year old mess featuring Ben ninety four. Yeah, <laughs> perfect title in it. Yeah, but I mean, I don't play music. Like I don't play the instruments. No, I know, I know. I should get accustomed to the new piano you're gonna get. I should start playing. Songs. If you can start playing piano, it'd be awesome. I'll have you on a couple of tracks, it'd be and awesome. I want to learn. You know, I have to. You have to at some point. It's I mean, good for your it's mental a, state. Is it? Mental, yeah, well, definitely. Health, at least everything. I, I, I think that music brings a lot to your mental health, and it brings a lot just to your life in general. It's entertainment. It's something to distract you from the BS of everyday life. And just writing lyrics for me, it just it helps a lot. You know, oh, and yeah. just you have it. Honestly, the way I see it is, if I have something I need to talk about or like something bugging me, the only way I can like just let it out and just be like, okay, I'm at peace with this yeah, now, is by making a song about you it. You can express yourself a lot more easily. There's not someone to just respond and nag or whatever to shoot down your ideas and whatnot yeah unless you how you feel unless you post on youtube and then you get hate comments yeah but you know you get used to those trolls oh, and trust whatnot. me with the amount of hate comments that i don't like get a lot but like whenever i get one it's like eh, who cares honestly like it's like for every like what like for every 20 good comments i get i'll get one to hate or be like oh you suck stop doing music you should no. just compile the best ones like the ones where the they, best hate yeah why and make a video out of it just like <laughs> use it as an idea go oh. like okay these are my favorite like whatever cel celebrities read mean tweets yeah well, did you see that on jimmy kimmel yeah <laughs> Those are hilarious. <laughs> i like the cranston one like <laughs> What was it? Oh, he's coming to get you, whatever. Ah, he was I, I saw, I saw one. It was bad. like Justin Bieber, and he reads out. He's like, "Please God, if we give you G uh, Justin Bieber, can we have like uh, the lead singer of Queen back? <laughs> can we get Freddie yeah. Mercury back?" That made me laugh so hard. <laughs> and he's just like, he reads it. He's like, "Screw you guys! <laughs> I hate you so much for saying this." <laughs> it's Bieber, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> You're only on the beats on the podcast, man. <laughs> hey, listen, I've been called Bieber enough. Oh, so. that's true with a haircut. 
You gonna haircut anytime uh, yeah. soon? I need a haircut too, actually. Put I'm the going to wait till I can like just tie it up in the back. Oh really? You're gonna you're gonna go do that? I guess. Yeah, you could do that. I, I might as well try. It's I the think first you, time. I wouldn't look that bad on you. But what I was gonna say, um, do, I want to just update people on the projects I've been working on. You know, because this is like usually that's what we do in the beginning of the podcast, and then we get into some questions. We got one good question this week that's gonna be really awesome. And also uh, for this podcast, we're gonna be releasing it. On a monthly basis. This is something I'm going to do because I enjoy doing it. You know, it's not as much work as a cover song or an original track. It's just something I, and I enjoy, enjoy doing and I get to, get to, to do and talk with other people. And that's really fun. And I also get to do something really cool that is just entertain you guys, you know, with all these videos and everything. So uh -huh. new projects that I've been working on. So if you guys follow me on Twitter and Facebook, you may, be, you may have seen recently that I am uh, working on a radio interview with Radio num uh, oh, interview yeah. number two, uh, and that's going to be really awesome. It was supposed to be scheduled this week, but uh, there was a little bit of a uh, misunderstanding misunderstanding on the time and everything, but yeah, I'm working on that, and within the month of September, you will see a new radio interview with me on it. How awesome has that been? Please just, just, just go. Just brigade me. Go. Uh, well, you know, uh, I'd like to be in your place. I, uh, <laughs> that's how you felt, right? Yeah, that's how like, I felt. Oh, it's, like, yeah. it's, like, it's, it's a very good feeling. But I mean, honestly, the first time I went on that radio interview, it was so cool. The guy who does the interview, Gabriel and Marcan Perro, super awesome guy, super nice, super just always, always happy, always uh, yeah, asking good questions. Be. And he's like, he, yeah, yeah, they have to be. There's something about it. Like, you know, some people, like, it's like their job and they're just like, oh, I get to pay to do this. So I have to <laughs> oh, do yeah. it. But like, Here's he, your this sandwich, ma'am. Yeah, exactly. But the guy, he just, he loves doing it. And that's what's awesome. Well, you're like that with, with everything too. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean, yeah, it's true. I'm, it's I'm a, a nice happy duality guy. with you and the other two. Yeah, I very mean, much so. Everyone's energetic and stuff. Everyone's yeah. energetic except for Ben because he talks like this. Ben, oh, ben, yeah. Ben, not, not, yeah. <laughs> that's what I do in songs too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. What are yeah. you doing? What are you doing? I'm, I'm Drake. I'm Drake. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Stop. Drake. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Oh God, Drake. Okay. I don't uh. listen to Drake. Oh, we're gonna hate on Bieber and Drake within the same podcast, and we're going to hell. No, no. <laughs> I think we're saints now. I think we're saints now, right? And uh, another thing. Oh, my, my voice kind of crying when I said the end. But <laughs> and another thing I want to add to it. So I released a new track, and Ben just listened to it. Demons featuring Agrostar and there's also Kristoff in that song who's doing lunatic rappers with me. I'll get to that very short, shortly. And so very if you want to go, yeah, very shortly. But if you want to go check that out, just type in Demons and Giant Music on YouTube and you can go check that new track out. It's really cool. It's very piano based. It's on this new mix that I'm kind of working on. It's going to be more of an or orchestral sound. I was talking to Ben about it earlier. And I like the idea. Yeah. I, I like it more than just regular rap. Actually. Yeah, regular like instrumentals rock. Yeah, exactly. The the, the instruments I, I showed earlier, or I the think they're pretty. Yeah, the instruments. The instruments are just way better, and the <laughs> instrumentals I, I I did I think are just more more developed. And there's 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 gonna be a lot more substance to this record compared to Rebirth. Rebirth was very oh, yeah. fun, and it was a good it was a good mix. Like people downloaded it and bought it, and that was awesome. But like I said. This one's gonna have a lot more substance. Maybe not as many songs, but just a lot more substance. And talking about lunatic rappers, we got a new song done just recently, and we're working on another one. We're just gonna we're making a mini mixtape, and we're gonna release that in the fall, and that's gonna be really awesome. Christopher uh, and I yeah. are super stoked. ACR should I say? Because that's his MC, and we're super stoked about releasing that. It's gonna be MCK. really cool. What? MCK. It's Christoph with a K, right? No, it's Christoph with a C. Oh, MCC. MCC, but no, he he calls him. Do you know what? Like the bike. You what? know what is uh, his MC is though for for real? It's ACR. Do you know what it stands for? Can you guess? No. <laughs> his MC uh, start uh, can uh, stands for. Sorry, it stands for African Canadian rapper. Wow, ACR, yo. <laughs> and actually, um, mine is Coyote. Um, I can give you a bit of, a, of the background on that. Basically, Christophe and I, we met through Scouts, right? Yeah. And in Scouts, there's this thing where if you stay long enough, you can do a very cool activity. And by the end of it, I'm not supposed to really talk about it, so I'm not going to go into the details. But at the end of it, you get to know yourself better, and you get a, a an animal name that represents you. I got the Coyote. The Coyote. Right? And so... Roadkill. I was like, what should I call myself? I'm not going to call myself Giant Music for Lunatic Rappers. He's like, no, I call yourself, you know, I just call name. You know, I was a cool name. So, you know, like, Coyote. I was like, you know what? I'll take that. That sounds actually kind of cool. So, Coyote. Coyote. <laughs> Coyote. And that's, uh, that's the name of it. That's the way it goes for that. And other than that, that's kind of the updates I want to get to. So... We have one awesome question which uh, that comes from Ashley Egg from Facebook. Uh, so, 
I want to let Ben get into this one because I think you 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 really are going to be able to answer it very well because I think it was. I can make it short and sweet, dude. You, yeah, don't make it short and sweet though. Okay, make, dude, make, make it funny. If it's funny, short and sweet, do it. Go ahead. Okay, you wanted to get the exact question though. No, like, that's cool. It's not the need to be the exact okay, question. Okay, okay. Well, okay. The question was, if corn grows on the stalk long enough, like corn on the cob, does it just like become popcorn or what happens? And the answer is drum roll. And the answer as it was Ashley. Yeah, Ashley. Okay. Yeah, Ashley. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley. Okay. Worse. Anyway, as Ashley said, like after the question, she said, like I know what the answer is, but. I don't remember. That's why I, I oh, wanted she goes, you to pull up the laptop. Actually. Oh, you want to pull? Okay, okay. We can get we can get the answer. Yeah, she she knows the answer is long and tedious and just boring. But let's she's, get to it. She, uh, I'll, 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 I'll take it right now. But she okay. said she said yeah. The answer is like is, long, boring, and whatnot. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, should I uh, should I mention the answer is no? I could explain, but it's long and boring. And obviously, we don't want to do that on the on the pop, on the podcast. But I would just say, I don't know. I think it would be kind of cool if you left corn on the field and became popcorn. I think it would be cool, but you would need, like, huge temperatures. For sure. And it, 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 would they need to, like, be dried beforehand? Yeah, basically. Or I don't know how exactly it works, but, but think it would it, it would be a lot cheaper than going to the movies. Popcorn. Yeah, I It's mean, like nine bucks for, like, a small thing, man. Yeah, I know. Like, their drinks are $4. Like, it, okay, you know what I think? I think the movies, well, legit, they, they don't make their money off the movies. They make their money off the food. Because it's yeah. so expensive. They do. Well, the movies are quite expensive, too. I mean, they're sh- they're just showing you a movie. I like. I can but it's like, I think on, like, the, the one in the, the one we go to, it's like, the, the, the Tuesdays, it's like cheaper or something like yeah, that? Yeah, it's half price. It's half price on Tuesdays. So, like, those movies where it's 3D plus you get those comfy seats, that goes down to $10. They're usually $20 just to go see your movie yeah, plus that, $10 those popcorn. Those comfy seats, honestly, biggest waste of time and money, if you ask me. Yeah, it's five bucks more just to be able to recline. To recline and basically, yeah, you, you know what? You put it perfectly. That's it's really that. I don't know. I, I can't wait for their uh, what was it? 4D experience where four D experience is just it? going to move the seat. They're gonna move the seat. Which so what does I, that I mean? went like, to it, like museums ten years ago and they had that kind of stuff. Oh my god! Well, like, what, what does that mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, if in the movie they go on a roller coaster, they're gonna go like that. That would be awesome. That would be cool. We need virtual reality stuff like. You're, okay, you're think, spectating the movie. That I think we're, be... we're taking the movie experience a bit too uh, a bit too intense if we do that. No, though. no, no. I want like seven D, even that, even though that seven D. <laughs> How about one D? Like, one I want to actually feel the jab. You know. You want... <laughs> How was that? How was that Nicolas Cage movie? Oh, well, <laughs> that last punch. <laughs> oh my god, it'd be insane. <laughs> I and don't know. I fell off a building, but I fell off the building. Yeah, my or like you watch hurts. Tron, and you know when the with the bikes, the motorcycles. I didn't see it. You didn't see Tron? No. Oh, I, I saw Tron a, a while ago. But like, you know how like when they're on the motorcycles, they, it makes lines, right? Oh yeah. Okay, and you can cut someone off, and then if, if you smash them, then yeah, yeah. When someone rams into it. You you, you, you die. Imagine yeah. that if you're watching the movie. You want just like your body explode? You're just like, eh, uh. <laughs> just die, just <laughs> collapse just on the from ground. The, I mean, you turn at a ninety degree angle. You just go like, uh. it's your, inti- it's your organs keep the momentum in that direction while you turn. You just go. Uh. Yeah, you that would must just. Hurt. Uh, I don't know. I would. I would not want to experience that. Honestly, I, you're probably gonna keep your meal in one place. I if call you know hoax. what I mean. What? I call hoax. <laughs> you call hoax. It's hey, hoax. hoax. No, I'm kidding. Bad joke. <laughs> I was gonna say. Let me like, call. Imagine what? Let me call. You want to call? Who you gonna call? Going to, Ghostbusters. I don't know the number. <laughs> no, 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 That's no, a long distance. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, true. But I was gonna say, like, if you like, imagine you eat all these nachos, all this popcorn, all those burgers. They have everything. They have pizza. They have everything in the movies, right? Yeah, they have you, a pizza. Pizza inside or really? Uh, theater. Yeah, they uh, have pizza. Pizza. It? Yeah. You're kidding me. They only. You know what? Charged, I think movies are gonna get Starbucks. They soon. charge twice as much though, but you know. Obviously, there's a is there like a pizza place like close to that movie place anyway? Like right next to the Walmart. Yeah. The. No, right next to the McDonald's. The oh, Boston, yeah, it's true. Boston Pizza, dude. It's Boston, right across there's the road. A Boston, oh, my God. You can't take takeout from there. You got to sit down and eat, right? It's delicious, though. It's pretty good. But what? Uh, actually, I went, to the, uh, I, went to, I went to that restaurant the other day, and uh, I waited like an hour, man. Yeah? For, for nachos. Really? It was really bad. Dude, we were like seven eating at that table, and it was came fast? quite quickly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Though he did we tip two. a lot. He tipped like a lot. What? The guy that took us out to dinner tipped a lot. Oh, yeah? And paid for our dinners. 
All your dinners? Yeah. That's awesome. Everyone. Dude, whenever someone pays for my food, I'm like, yes, that's awesome. Yeah, the guy was rich. He was just like, okay, don't worry about the tab, guys. He, that guy is a high school graduate. <laughs> <laughs> that guy went to school. That guy's going to go far in life because he's tipping so so much. Yeah, but I mean, he paid for seven dinners and tipped very nice. Very well? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the, really the good. girl came back. She was like, you know, he tipped like a hundred bucks. What? We went crazy. What? I was like, dude, give me that money. <laughs> give me money. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Honestly, when I see like how much I have to pay for school and stuff like that, a hundred bucks would be very nice to have. Yes. I Though think... I don't pay for school. What? <laughs> Though I don't pay for school. Oh, no. Well, you're, you're going to get there soon. Oh, yeah. Right? Eventually. Someone, someone else is going to pay for it. <laughs> someone else is going to pay for it, right? So we all have, we all get love jobs. You, we gotta go to school, and then we all get careers. <laughs> yeah, I love you, mom. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think your mom's gonna ever listen to this? Probably not. Nah, I doubt it. Well, we can show her. I mean, you can show her. Like, whoa, look at me! I'm on a podcast. <laughs> hey, mom, look! Look how big I am! <laughs> so look funny. how grown up I'm. I'm oh my god! Come. You know what movie I watched the other day was actually really good. I it came out in 2007. What? TMNT. You remember that? I the don't animated think, one. I don't think I've seen it. You didn't see the animated TMNT? Oh, animated baby, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's been a while. It's, it, it came out a long time ago. I was like, you know what? I because I'm a, I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Just I have I have the poster right there in my room. I love Ninja Turtles. It doesn't even say Gal, Cal Bunga on it. Like no, I know it doesn't, but, but I, there's no dude on it. <laughs> but um, what do you mean? Oh, you know what I just remembered? What? You know the 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 Ninja Turtle version of uh, uh, Robot Chicken. It's like senior mutant, senior mutant <laughs> ninja turtles. Oh my god! But like the puzzle right there, it's teenage mutant ninja turtles, right? And it says, "Say no to drugs, say yes to pizza." And honestly, as we all know, I am very much not a participant in that kind of stuff, and I very much participate in pizza. She, so, uh, perfect for me. There goes my joke. What was your? Oh god, I got the pizza joke. I don't know. <laughs> what was your pizza joke? Oh, I'm really not into that. Oh, okay, well. Give me I'll a pizza. Eat pizza. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god! Actually, it wasn't very thought out. It wasn't very thought out. I. I love so much, like, you know what, the type of people so I would get would be, like, bacon, and just bacon, and bacon, and bacon. No, no. See, that gets old. What do That's you mean? How? I did BLT, that. bacon, a little more bacon, and top it off with bacon. BLT. That's LLL. No? No. Lettuce, bacon? lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> bacon, BLL. What do you mean lettuce? I mean, you eat bacon instead of lettuce, and then... Yeah, it's everything, bacon. Everything BLT is bacon. BLT is bacon, a little more bacon, top it off with bacon. Okay. That's, that's I, don't, I don't know why we mentioned BLT for pizza, though. Because all, be, all, all bacon pizza would be awesome. Yeah. But like, what you... do you take on your pizza? Oh, what is that one pizza? We used to do this thing where the thing was like pizza game night where we go. I go to his place and we would just get every lunch and then uh, yeah. order a pizza, which we have to do very soon. Yeah, but the basement's getting there. Oh, really? Okay, awesome. We're gonna... Basically, this, the chilling spot's good. Yeah, we can do that soon. We should do it tonight. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we could? Maybe we'll see. I need <laughs> live though. I need what? I need to get Xbox Live for that. Oh yeah, true. But uh, I was gonna say, what did we get on that one pizza? It was like super spicy. It was insane. No, we, they're all good though. But uh, you remember, like, we, we, like we got it. We're like, oh, this is gonna be super awesome. We get it. We start eating. It, we're like, dude, this is so so way, we're, like, way too spicy. We're like, oh my god. Actually, sweating my face. I was like, Whoa, this is very. <laughs> it was surprising for a pizza. Honestly, but it was good. It was like, like I eat spicy a lot, and that pizza was kind of surprising. It's like. Man, who? I don't know. Like for me, I was like, I was like burning my throat. I was like, this is, this is too much. This is, I can't. <laughs> this I can't. is hardcore, man. This is hardcore. Eating pizza? What do you mean? <laughs> so, what was your workout like today? Oh man, I had a large pizza and. <laughs> you know when you need to wear joggers to eat pizza? Wear <laughs> joggers to eat pizza. <laughs> we do that when we go to the buffet now, the sushi buffet. Oh my god. Where? Where is it? In Ottawa? In Ottawa, yeah. Oh yeah. Sushi can. Great. Is Great it place. really good? I should. We should go sometime. I love it. And it's like 20, maybe 24 bucks and you eat as you wish. Are you serious? Remember that one poutine place we went to and that like hair was in your poutine? What? <laughs> Remember when we, last time we hung out, we went to go grab some some poutine. We're not going to name the place, obviously. And we got hair in that. You, you found hair in your poutine. Remember? It was the, bl uh, the blonde hair. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. You remember that? Remember the spot? we went to before that but, we checked oh and god. we were just like oh my yeah. god okay okay, okay. <laughs> yeah t t t t t say, say how it went down it's hilarious this is really funny yeah we were just looking for a place to eat basically and then I'm like, oh, i feel like tacos i feel like something mexican right we went by the place too you were like oh this is the place blah, blah, blah. then we just kept going like towards our, our place, place. place but right before that we spotted that on the other side of the street we we're like okay let's go check that out 
And Walk just in. going in, you see this long hallway with tables, but it was so empty. There was nobody there. And then there was like no noise whatsoever. You can hear like the uh, from like the machines and like just like lights twitching. Almost. It, it was almost like a horror movie. Like, yeah, it was kind of like a horror movie. I was like, what the hell is, is this place? there a murderer place? behind that corner right exactly. there? Exactly. I was like, what the hell is this place? Then we go and there's nobody. And then there's like one lady shows up. She's like, hi. <laughs> There's this you? one lady who works there on her laptop, and she's just like, hey, come do the cash. <laughs> Hi, how can I help you? Uh, uh, we're going to leave. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to look. You can go back there for bye. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to run off. <laughs> oh, my God. It yeah. looked I was, I don't know, it was creepy. Bring me up, man. I'm, I won't lie. Yeah, it was weird. It was really bad. Going I, down, like, the long hallway before getting there. Like, that was I don't weird. get, like, I don't know, maybe feel like high school walking, walking to class or whatever the hell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It was it was very odd. It was Had very odd. Very yeah, definitely. Feeling odd. while going through there. Yeah, and the, the, like the more I think of it, the more I'm like, why did we even go there? Like, what? <laughs> it like, didn't even look that good. It really didn't even look that good. But honestly, and and what? Uh, and we did not eat there. No, but we ended up just getting Harry Poutine <laughs> instead. I'm fine with that. She was cute. <laughs> Come on, the blonde girl. She was cute. Yeah, yeah she was. Come That's on. true. <laughs> I should ever hear this. No, she wouldn't. She never would. What? Imagine if she's here. She's like, oh, that's me. Uh, if she still works there, I'll go. I'll go say, hi, you're in our podcast. We mentioned you. <laughs> Want a date now? <laughs> <laughs> Want a date? You put hair in my poutine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's pretty I, I'm pretty sure that's like a surefire sign that you want a date. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> so, were, uh, you were. I know you had your number. Can I, <laughs> can I get your number? Can I have it? Can I have, can I have it? it? Can I have it? <laughs> oh, my God. That's really. Oh, that's just weird. No. I don't know. Why is it weird? Look, well, who she the hell hair- listens to a girl be like, you put hair in my food, therefore we... Date me. Date. Yeah. Like, please explain like, to me how that here. makes sense. Yeah. That does not make sense. Listen, you, you just don't have the moves. You don't know how... Okay, so move. teach me the moves. Well, there's the typical <laughs> one at the movies where you go like, yawn. And then just put the hand around the shoulder. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? And then poutine, man. If you make poutine, you just always put like... The- <laughs> this one's cute. <laughs> That's more than one hair. Oh my god, did you actually tear out some of your hair? Yeah. Can you do that? Wait, wait, this is weird. Uh don't go uh Oh sorry. Not so high. Oh, sorry about that. Wow. I surprised my I, I actually surprised myself. That looks myself like a hairball, dude. Almost. <laughs> oh, Maybe wow. I can spit it out like a cat. No, no, it's good. No, I'll do that. So, um I was gonna mention afterwards. Oh yeah, and another thing that's gonna be really cool that's coming up on the YouTube channel. Um, I did this cover with uh, this girl called Alex of uh, Eminem's. Fa- oh, yeah, I'm gonna have to clean up after. <laughs> no, it's on my bag. Okay, um, <laughs> of uh, Eminem's Spacebound, and we're working. Uh, we're working to set up a day where we're gonna do another cover, and it's gonna be a cover of "Stan" by Eminem. Do you know that song, that that one? Do you ever, have you ever, I've probably heard it. Okay, but, you know, it's a uh, you, you know, know me. it's it's basically this guy who's super obsessed with Eminem and sen- sends sends him like a mail and he never replies because he just doesn't have the time and then like he ends up like with his pregnant girlfriend driving locking her in the back of his trunk of the car and just like oh, yeah. crashing on a bridge because he's obsessed with Eminem it's this really trippy but all- also very cool song so we're gonna work on that and another project I just started it's this uh, actually you're gonna like this project I have a new band you and when I mean band. band I don't mean rap I don't mean a rap group. I really, I, I really mean a, a band, like a, a band where, where it's like drummer, a bassist, guitarist, vocalist. What? Yeah, starting a new band, and we're called Face Your Fears. Right now, we're only two members, and we're more of a studio band because obviously you can't be yeah. two people to play four instruments. Kind of hard. Kind of hard. So basically, uh, it's with my friend Al, uh, Ma- 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 Alex, uh, Alex Tim Timonte, and what he does, he plays the guitar and the bass in the band, and I uh, arrange the drums on medium, and I do the vocals. We're called nice, Face nice. Your Fears, and Face Your Fears. Yeah, and I like I like the name of it. Has impact. Just what? It has impact. It has it. Really does. And what I like about this project, it's basically you know like pop goes punk. You know, what? like the album series? There's okay, a, yeah, 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 yeah. there's an album series called Pop Goes Punk. We're, we're basically doing that, but it's more like Pop Goes Garage Band. Like, go, go, Okay, that's cool. Garage Band Punk, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's, that's And cool. so we made one cover, and guess what song we covered? Okay, actually, okay, I'll, I'll, give you a, uh, I'll give you a hint. It's by The Lonely Islands. Do you know them? Yeah, a bit, but I know like okay, two songs. Okay, it's with Akon. No, you lost me. Okay, <laughs> well, it is uh, I Just Had Sex. 
Oh, by okay. Akon and uh, uh, I didn't know they were in and there. Lonely Islands. Well, it's the Lonely Islands uh, featuring <laughs> Akon. Yeah, and uh, so we covered that song and uh, we put it up on SoundCloud. It already got over a hundred plays, and we're working on uh, producing uh, more covers and making uh, originals eventually. Uh, at first, what we wanted to do with this project is like be the two of us and find like some some other vocalist, okay. but found out really quickly that manning three people in a band where we're all working jobs, we're all going to school is very hard. Yeah. So the drop off between two and three people in a project is a lot easier to just be two because you just need to invite the one person over and it's just yep. it's less people to like run around with but you know you, with schedules on all three people it's easier to plan in advance to kind of true true like but you it can say really, okay this set date we have to yeah but like with one person only and the other like with only one like when you're two with the other person you just be like oh when are you free that day i'm free to come over you know yeah it kind of works that way too. Easier. and alex alex is very talented you know he's a, a much better guitarist than i am so we can do more more interesting guitar work we can do like more advanced guitar solos in the songs and we we just we're gonna really have fun with this project and eventually we're gonna grow into making some original tracks so very stoked so if you guys want to check it out type in on soundcloud face your fears uh uh i just had sex you can fi- uh, figure out our, our very first cover and we are also on facebook facebook.com slash face your fears music so go check that out i'll be very appreciative of that so that's what's all the projects that's going on really and i don't know i'm trying to think of other stuff that uh, that's been going on really and that's very much the gist of it i also have uh, at the uh well actually i can talk about one more thing uh you know when i <laughs> just so much <laughs> that's I, the gist of it just like 10 minutes of constant projects like oh, i'm doing I this really and have this a lot of projects, don't just I? like oh yeah i'm doing everything by the way i'm moving to china tomorrow but <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Just you know, <laughs> musical arts over there while doing that here. I'm just Are you going to China anytime soon, Ben? I would love to actually. Why would you want to go to China? Well, why? Yeah, come on, hit me. Why would you want to go to China? The culture and just the culture. Everything. Every, like, everything's made come there. Come on, I, I mean, we there all must... know it's the women. Come on, man. Uh, women too. <laughs> They're smaller, but you know. You're gonna go like this: the culture, the movies, uh, <laughs> you know, the the <laughs> arts, the schooling system, but mostly the women. <laughs> Yep, women. <laughs> the food. The, the food. food, the food, yes. Yes. The food culture mostly and just... No, no, it's all, it's mostly women. Come on, man. It's, Don't yes. lie to me, man. I've known you since you're like 11. I said food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, do they have Subway in China? <laughs> probably yeah, not. Yeah, probably. Do they actually? I'd assume, I'd assume so, yeah. Really? Maybe. You know what they say about assuming, right? <laughs> it makes it an ass out of you and me. <laughs> but seriously, I don't... We in China would be kind of cool. Well, yeah, I'm going to move to Quebec before that. So you're going to go to Quebec and then China? I don't know. We'll see uh, where then I we'll go. Do, like, we'll, we'll do podcasts via like Skype. Yeah, <laughs> we can. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Or like, I can record myself on my side. and just, What? Or I could just record record myself like, yeah. halfway yeah. across I, the world. I, I, I record the conversation and then you, okay, hi, Ben. Hi, Jayan. <laughs> <laughs> just like with a big delay, just like, hi. Hi. Yeah, hello, how are you? <laughs> That'd be so weird. But, um... What, so... Oh, you made me lose my third train of thought. I had this one more project I needed to talk about. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> that was quick. Um, uh, I know at the end of this... Uh, at, of the last podcast um, of episode two, I was talking about this even album I was talking about, I was working on, and basically, all the tracks were done. And the artwork's been wor- worked on and very well... Uh, it's been uh, very well made. It's in the trusted uh, hands of... Draw Alex, the guy who did Christmas Ride and, Re- and Rebirth, and the artwork for those two are just amazing, and I'm so stoked to see what he's going to do for this art- artwork. The name of the uh, album is called Level Up. It's going to be uh, about up. 14. Yeah, Level Up. Uh, actually, Ben's going to be on the, one of the songs. That was the background noise, though. You had to keep going. Go with Sorry. flow. But, um, Ben's going to be on one of the songs, and, and we're going to be very stoked, uh, very stoked for the for this record. It's going to be very fun. It's going to be a lot of different elements. It's very, it's more much more light and goofy than my usual music so that's gonna be coming out around i don't know like late september early october 2014 so i'm stoked for that a lot of awesome projects i'm starting music industry arts very shortly and exactly one week i'm gonna start that program it's gonna be on the second of september very first day i'm so excited it's gonna be such an amazing year i mean i'm gonna be working more covers more originals more podcasts and i'm literally gonna be studying and what i love doing which is audio and once it's insane once you go there, you're going to adjust to your new software and your and new so much instruments more. and whatnot, and just go crazy. Actually, soon. I I know <laughs> I I know I mentioned this uh, this to to Ben earlier, but um, 
for this for this specific program, I know I, I saw that on the ground. I felt like, felt like picking it up with this pen. I usually use it for the board to That's projects. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Nitpick. <laughs> but uh, what was I gonna say for the program music industry arts? Something really cool happened there. Um, so I applied. Right, over five hundred people applied for that program, and I, I in an email I got, they told me they only accepted seventy five of the over five hundred applicants. So that means me being in the top 75 of those people is an absolute honor, and I feel so grateful to be in that position. It's it's really showing me that you know I'm going somewhere, and you know, I'm doing I'm doing something right, you know. And it's it's good to have confirmation because this program involves people who have worked in the music industry, very professional people, and I'm very excited to just be a part of that family, you know. It's yeah. gonna be an, an amazing experience. Well, if they don't want people dropping out too, they know you're dedicated. So oh, I definitely am dedicated. And quickly too, if you ever want to hire me for a project, if you're looking for a voiceover, if you're looking for a freestyle rap, or you're looking for an instrumental track, sample, loop, hire me on Fiverr.com. Giant Music, just type it, type it on Fiverr. Fiverr is F-I-V-E-R-R, -R, and it's the largest marketplace for $5 services. I can do all that for you. I've got great responses. A lot of people have purchased, uh, purchased uh, from my services, and that's just money I'm using to pay for my schooling. So always appreciating, for, uh, appreciating. Uh, I'm very appreciative for all of that. So that's pretty much what I really needed to talk about. Let's see. There's, is there anything cool that happened to you in the last week, month? Or do you want to talk about Quebec? Anything else that happened? Do you I've see been any good bands? Man, uh, no bands, no bands, no. No, I, is you were in concert been... this summer? I, I've not. I've, I haven't gone to one concert this summer. Me neither. I haven't been to a single one. What, Nothing. What, what was the last concert you went to? Like the last, last time I heard someone actually sing was in Quebec. Which is very recently, but was before that, that with that guy, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, <laughs> no, but like, he was awesome though. <laughs> is he like an artist or something? I guess so, dude. It was a gig in a bar, and he was getting paid in alcohol. That's got to be awesome. It was awesome for him, and you're just probably really mad jelly. I was very jelly about how jelly. Well, first off, I I can't sing that well. <laughs> Come on, man. Nor can I play guitar. Puppets and puppeteers, right? Right, right. I can beatbox though. Puppets. <laughs> Do that like 700 times and you've got yourself <laughs> One beat Ben <laughs> One beat Ben <laughs> but, uh, uh, well, Yeah but any good concerts you've seen in like the past two years? Nope No, are you kidding me? None, not in a while dude Oh wow we need Remember that one time we went, I, I wanted to go to a concert with you but it choked <laughs> You needed your cards, your ID and yeah. you didn't have it Oh, I was talking about another time but that's another time too Actually, okay I'll, I'll talk about that now We'll wrap <laughs> up the podcast So basically we're gonna go see the Wonder Years in Ottawa. Wonder Years is just like this upcoming pop punk band, and I listen to them all the time. I love their music. And well, I don't listen to them as much now because I'm more into rap now. But anyway, long story short, I'm like, yo, Ben, oh, they're playing, they're playing in Ottawa. It's like your pop punk, and they're super awesome. They're, they, they sound like Blink One Eighty Two. Blah blah blah. I'm like, you, you gotta go, go see him. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Want to go see him? Want to go see him? And Ben, like, whenever you want, you, if he's free, he's always gonna hang out. That's what I love about Ben, right? And so I'm always free. I'm in America. <laughs> and basically, so <laughs> the guy, um, uh, we, uh, I, I show up. I have my money, and then they're like, ID. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, uh, uh here's my bus pass for my birth date on it. And they're like, nope, that doesn't work. I was like, it well, doesn't give you a birth date. Really? Nope. Well, yes, really, but no, it doesn't. Oh really? Okay. So I show my I I I have my but I didn't know you needed ID. I I had no idea you needed ID. And you had no idea that you needed ID. <laughs> but I didn't mention it anywhere on the um, on the website or anything. I looked and I was like, well, you didn't mention that information. Right? I go, sorry, no ID, no entry. I was like, ah, it sucks. <sighs> it really sucked. <laughs> so I went, we went to record shop and bought some records instead. Oh well, it worked. Stuff out. happens. It was okay though. Yeah. What was the other time then? I wanted to go see Chunk, no Captain Chunk, and it was like the day Where? before. It was like it was like it was like maybe it was what like October last year. It was like October October, October okay, okay. 2013. At Mavericks, maybe. Mavericks, yeah, it was a Maver a Mavericks. Okay, okay, I, I, and I think was like, I oh, that. dude, tomorrow they're going to play. Like, I was looking for someone to go with, and you're like, yeah, I'm down. And then like you're like, oh, I don't have money. Never mind, I can't do it. It's like, yeah, I'm out of money. Like, I, probably it. Yeah, dude. probably it. And I was like, oh man, so oh, that, that, that happened. See, it chokes. Chokes. So, uh, anything else you want to mention real quick before we wrap this podcast up? Ah. Uh, oh. Stay awesome. Stay awesome. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, this uh, 
episode of Inside Some People Talk. If you ever want to download the MP3 version of this podcast, you can do it for free on uh, my Bandcamp, giantmusicband.bandcamp.com. Next episode, maybe Ben will be here. Maybe I'll have another guest. You never know. So stick around. Thank you so much for all of your support. I love you all. And to say goodbye, Ben is going to beatbox. Go. Come on. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Whenever you want to stop. <laughs> All right, we're good. Bye, guys. <laughs>